Meine Damen und Herren, Mesdames und Messieurs, Ladies and Gentlemen, I am so proud to welcome you to the most titillating show in the land. Come see us at Burlock's production of Cabaret. Willkommen, bienvenue, welcome. Fremde, étrangers, strangers. Qui quitte ce cerne, je suis enchanté. Happy to see you, blind man. Sarah Mae Townsend has had leading lady Sally Bowles on her bucket list of characters since first seeing the show attending Randolph College for the Performing Arts. This show is just gut-wrenching, like there's so much truth but so much fun and you know sexy, just it, there's just so many levels and I don't, I, I hadn't experienced a musical like that before Cabaret. While Cabaret focuses on how everyday people experienced the Nazi takeover in Berlin, director Malachi Vieira says the show will resonate with today's audience. Um, I mean what, what we have going on in the world where sometimes people uh, get distracted by the shiny new thing and, and I think that's uh, Cabaret uses a lot of that when we're seeing it in the Kit Kat Club. They are kind of uh, doing a commentary on the world but people are distracted with the glitz and the glamour where you don't really realize what's happening around you in the real world until it's too late. Um, I think it's very relevant uh, right now with all that's happening in the world. Um, Cabaret, oh Cabaret, Cabaret. In his first production with Burl Oak, Devin Dos Santos is returning to the role of MC that he portrayed 10 years ago. The MC is such a bombastic part and for me, figuring out how I was going to play it, it's almost more like a force of nature, more so than a character. It doesn't necessarily need a lot of delving into a backstory or who is this person or what is there. It, you are more or less a representation of Germany and Berlin of the time. And so as you see the country start here and go down the slope, the MC is following that same path. So because it is such a huge larger than life part, I find that the more difficult areas are knowing when to hold back you know, there's plenty of opportunity to really blow it out of proportion and go really wild with it. But the more important challenge as an actor, I think, for this part is to know when to be more reserved and when to have that contrast. I think that we've all worked really hard to keep it on a very respectful but true level to um, the historic truth of the unfortunate truth behind World War II. So I'm really excited for you to see that switch. It's a big switch. Act one is very fun um, it, and it you quite frankly are thrown off a cliff coming into act two. What I would love the audience to leave after the show asking themselves is what would you do if you were faced in, in this situation, in this predicament? Um, and, and throughout Cabaret you see characters who just ignore it and move on because it doesn't affect them and you see others that stand up to it and others that, that fall to it. The show opens tomorrow night and runs until Sunday at the Oakville Center for the Performing Arts. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley. Cabaret Boys!